my name is Kayla. Welcome to Kitty Cat Soul Food, a place to better understand and strengthen your connection with cats and kittens. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the 10 signs that your cat is in labor. Now if you watched any of my previous videos, then you probably already know that one of my cats, Nala, was pregnant and she gave birth to three beautiful kittens less than 10 hours ago. So before she gave birth, I filmed multiple signs that she was going into labor, and so I really hope you guys find this video helpful. So the first sign that your cat is in labor is mammary gland enlargement and milk production. So approximately one week before Nala's due date, she already had quite large breasts and she was already producing milk. And this can be really unique to each individual cat's experience as some cats can produce milk as early as eight days before giving birth while others might not produce their milk until a few days before giving birth or even after giving birth. Essentially what you want to look for is the nipples appearing larger, more pink, and they're kind of like dry in appearance. So the second sign that your cat is in labor is what's called kicking of the litter box. So with my experience with Nala, she started digging holes aggressively in the litter box about three to four days before giving birth. This wasn't the most immediate sign that she was going into labor, however I did notice 24 hours before giving birth she had much more frequent trips to the litter boxes. I know some cats might experience diarrhea before giving birth, this wasn't the case with Nala but she was going to the litter box at least 3-4 to four times in the last 2 hours before she gave birth. So the third sign that your cat is in labor is behavioral changes. Now with my cat Nala, she started to become exceptionally affectionate with all of our other cats in our household. You might not have other cats in your house, but if you do, you might notice that they start acting very maternal towards the other cats by licking them and grooming them and treating them as if they are their babies. However, they also do this just before they go into labor as a form of comfort. Now the fourth sign that your cat is going into labor is excessive licking and grooming. So with Nala, she was over grooming to the extent of actually creating a bald spot on the side of her breast, which I think just comes from the nerves of expecting kittens, but she was over grooming her mammary glands and genital area, and this is super common to see in the queens just before they go into labor. The fifth sign that your cat is going into labor is preparing a nest. So about a week or a few days before giving birth, you might notice that your queen is wandering around your house looking for a spot that she can safely deliver her kittens. She might go into a laundry basket, a dark closet, or some sort of box. What I do is I typically prepare a nest um, which you can see in one of my previous videos in my birthing kit video. This video I show you how I prepare a nest for my queen, but I just want to point out that I don't obviously force her to go into this nest. I actually decided to keep Nala in my bedroom so that I can closely watch her as she's not as experienced with kittens as some of my other queens. However, I did make sure that I had a few different spots laid out in the bedroom that she could go if for whatever reason the tent that I made for her wasn't making her comfortable. So the sixth sign that your cat is in labor is rippling or moving of the kittens. So up to two weeks before your queen gives birth, you should be able to see and feel movement of the kittens. However, this is more obvious a few days before going into labor as the abdomen drops and you should be able to see the fetus movement through the abdominal wall. But if it's a smaller litter of kittens, it still might be hard to see, but I always feel this with my cats and I usually know when I see a lot of movement that it's not long before the kittens will be born. The seventh sign that your cat is going into labor is a drop in temperature. So your cat's normal temperature is anywhere between 37.7 degrees Celsius and 39.1 degrees Celsius. Approximately one or two days before she gives birth, you should see her temperature drop to around 37.2 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. You can take this rectally or just under the armpit, which is not as accurate. However, it might be a little bit more comfortable for your cat. It really just depends on your cat's experience with these types of things and if she enjoys you stressing her out while doing that. But if you find that it's not something that makes her comfortable, I would just recommend going off the other signs because the other signs kind of collectively tell you that she's going to labor and it's not 100% necessary that you take her temperature but it is important to have a thermometer handy in case after she gives birth there's a rise in temperature and there's some sort of complications with the birth so just make sure that you always have a thermometer handy just in case. So the eighth sign that your cat is going into labor and probably one of the most important signs is vaginal discharge. Now this is what's considered the first stage of labor and vaginal discharge is completely normal. It can be clear, white, or yellow in color and is soon followed by the mucus plug which is more brown in color. If you notice a few days pass after the detachment of the mucus plug, it is a good idea to contact your vet as she can become more prone to infection. 
So from my experience with Nala, she had a yellow tone vaginal discharge three days before giving birth and on the exact day she went into labor is when she actually released her mucus plug. Obviously this goes back to my point with the licking and grooming because as she releases her mucus plug and any sort of vaginal discharge, she will be grooming herself all of the time and that's why sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell because she might lick that vaginal discharge before you even get a chance to see it but I always find the mucus plug pretty obvious because it leaks so much that I usually find some spots on my bed or on the floor depending where I keep her and then soon after that her water usually breaks so I will see some spots of liquid on the ground as well. So once the mucus plug is detached and the water has broken then kittens typically arrive within 24 hours from this point. So the ninth sign that your cat is in labor is a loss of appetite. I have never seen this personally with my cats. Nala was eating straight up until she pretty much gave birth. A loss of appetite could mean several things, but it is something that other people have experienced and maybe it's something you might notice in your queen as well. And the tenth sign that your cat is in labor is vocalization. This is probably the most obvious sign that she's literally about to give birth because she'll begin meowing, chirping, howling, and just making any signs that she is feeling some sort of contractions. So at this point, you should be able to see the abdomen moving in and out as she begins to push the fetuses through the birth canal. And those are the top 10 signs that your cat is going into labor. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like and also subscribe for more weekly cat videos. Do you have any experience with cats in labor? And if so, what were the signs that she was in labor? Was there anything that I didn't mention in this video that led you to believe she was in labor? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and stay positive, bye. I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek of Nala's baby, so let's go and see.